Jacqueline Sarkeesian is live outside City Hall with more on what the letter says and how the mayor is responding. Morning, Jacqueline. Hey, good morning, Dave. As of last night, Mayor Steve Adler told Fox 7 that he hasn't read this letter, so he cannot directly respond to it. But within this letter, Congressman Chip Roy says that proper solutions to fixing the homeless problem must be put forth by members of the community, and that includes service organizations, healthcare professionals, and business leaders. He believes the city should collaborate with local groups to provide things like beds for the homeless while working towards a goal of identifying permanent housing and employment opportunities opportunities for them. Roy says this approach has worked for other cities like Houston, where homelessness has decreased by half. Mayor Steve Adler says that's what the city is working on behind the scenes. Now, the congressman wraps up this letter by saying he looks forward to working with the city whatever way that may be. He says that the city needs to change the homeless policy as soon as possible. We do have the mayor coming on Good Day Austin later this morning. That's happening in the 8 o'clock hour of our show. So we will discuss this letter and how he plans on fixing the problem more then. Reporting live in downtown Austin, Jacqueline Sarkeesian, Fox 7 Austin News. Hey, good morning, Amanda. Well, as of last night, the mayor told Fox 7 he hadn't read this letter, so he couldn't directly respond to it. I'm not sure if that's changed this morning, but within this letter, Congressman Chip Roy says that proper solutions to fixing the homeless problem must be put forth by members of the community, and that includes service organizations, healthcare professionals, and business leaders. He believes the city should collaborate with local groups to provide things like beds for homeless while working towards the goal of identifying permanent housing and employment opportunities opportunities for them. Roy says this approach has worked for other cities like Houston, where homelessness has decreased by half. Mayor Steve Adler says that's what the city is working on behind the scenes. And the mayor is coming up on Good Day Austin. He'll be live on our show just within the next few minutes to talk much more about this. Now back to the studio. Hey, good morning, Amanda. Well, the mayor was just on our show, and he says that he still hasn't read this letter that the congressman wrote to him. The congressman says that he has a problem with the way the city changed its policy on how it governs the homeless. Within this letter, he says that the new ordinance undermines security, harms private property of our citizens, hurts commerce, and endangers those it's supposed to help, which is the homeless. Roy also mentioned that he's heard plenty of complaints from a number of business owners who say they've had to increase their security. He says the policy change is a long-standing concern for many Austinites and negatively impacts those who live here as well as tourists and visitors. That includes hundreds of thousands of people traveling to Austin over the next two weekends for ACL. We did ask the mayor if he's worried about people camping out near Zilker Park. And the mayor says that one thing that could help solve or at least uh, make the problem less severe here in Austin is more funding. He says that's something that a congressman could get involved with and in supporting the ending, ending Homelessness Act. Back to you. Hey, good morning. Well, the mayor was on our show about an hour ago, and he says he has yet to read this letter. We do know that the mayor says his number one goal is to end homelessness within the city. Now, within this letter, Congressman Chip Roy says that proper solutions to fixing the problem must be put forth by members of the community, and that includes service organizations, healthcare professionals, and business leaders. He believes the city should collaborate with local groups to provide things like beds for the homeless while working towards the goal of of identifying permanent housing and employment opportunities for them. Roy says this approach has worked for other cities like Houston, where homelessness has decreased by half. Mayor Adler says that's what the city is working on behind the scenes. And the mayor says another thing that could help with the city's homeless crisis is getting more funding from state lawmakers. Back to the studio. All right, thank you. Jacqueline Sarkeesian reporting live in downtown Austin. Mayor Steve Adler says their number one goal right now is to end homelessness within the city. Congressman Chip Roy actually has a problem with this updated version on how the city governs the homeless. So within this letter, the congressman says that proper solutions to fixing the homeless problem must be put forth by members of the community, including service organizations, healthcare professionals, and business leaders. He believes the city should collaborate with local groups to provide things like beds for the homeless, all while working towards the goal of identifying permanent housing and employment opportunities for them. Roy says this approach has worked for other cities like Houston, where homelessness has decreased by half. 
Mayor Adler says that's what the city is working on behind the scenes. He was on Good Day Austin earlier today and talked about what else the city could use to help the homeless crisis. There's a bill pending in Congress right now, H.R. 1856, and, and it sure would be great if our, if our congressional de delegation could get that passed, if, if he and the others wanted to help. This is not just a city of Austin problem or even a state problem. It's a national problem, and uh, Congress to, to really weigh in would be helpful. And the congressman wraps up this letter by saying he looks forward to the opportunity to work with city council in whatever way that may be. He says the city needs to change the policy now. Reporting from City Hall, Jacqueline Sarkeesian, Fox 7 Austin News.